So I usually don't do videos like this. I don't think I've ever done a video like this, but I'm talking about a device that I checked out last year. Uh, actually, Sam did initially, and also I did a first look at it. It's the EV. Now the EV is this device right here. It's a Surface clone. Uh, it was built to be a Surface clone. It was an Indiegogo, Indiegogo project. Uh, really nice device. I mean, in terms of what I have and what how I've used it, it's been really good. I really can't complain about what they've done with this device. But um, I've had it for about a year, um, and you know, I thought everything was fine, and I got reached out by a fella um, on Twitter, um, handle is Stop EV Tech, who had sent a couple of tweets and said, "Hey, look, you know, have you seen anything about what EV?" Eve V has done um, by not basically fulfilling some of the orders uh, from Indiegogo. So I said, look, send me some of the information, let me see for myself, and let's see what's going on here, right? Because it could just be one person, it could be an issue, or it could be something that is widespread. And um, as I was going through and checking, then I see that Lou makes a video, and Lou talked about it, and how um, you know, even he himself is taken aback to the fact that this is something that's going on. Now, I've done also some research and seen that, yes, there have been quite a number of people who have experienced this issue uh, with the EV. Now, the EV, as I mentioned, it's a Surface clone. It was built specifically for that whole idea, to be something that is, you know, comparable to the Surface, yet cheaper, and which is why I wanted to check it out which is why I recommended it, because it handled well. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a pen, uh, you can use the Surface Pen on there. Um, it's a little bit thicker, but it's really solid device. And you know, and when they made it and sent it to me, I was like, okay, cool, this is great. Like, more people can check this out. And you know, people have ordered different variants and some people have not received theirs. Uh, I've got a couple of links for you guys to check out just to get some more information about it. And you're wondering, okay, what is this device? Why? Now, the thing, interesting thing is that um, Eve basically stated that they were able to fulfill um, all the orders of the initial Indiegogo funding, um, and, which is about one point, I think, one point two or one point three million uh, for the laptops, or I mean, for the Surface clones, um, and they were able to do about sixty-five percent. You know, which is fine if you were to refund the rest, but they said they had PayPal issues and that PayPal account is kind of frozen. There's a lot of stuff going on that I still don't get. Now on their website, you still can go ahead and order an EV right now, which to me is a little bit suspect saying, look, hey, if you haven't fulfilled a bunch of orders, go ahead and either fulfill that now or you know, give people refunds. Like that's just something I think you should do. It's a very simple, simple thing in my mindset, but that's just not happening. So um, for me, that's, that's a bit of a bummer because, you know, I went out there and I said, hey, get this device. I like it, you should buy it. And you know, uh, that's the perils of Indiegogo Kickstarter. You know, that's where it comes in, where um, there is no security to what your funding is. And this is something that, um, Kickstarter and Google should actually be giving people refunds for, you know, especially if they're not receiving devices um, uh, directly. So I felt like I need to do something a little bit for that community. So I'm going to do something a little bit special. Um, so basically, anyone who has, uh, you know, bought into the Indiegogo and um, they haven't received their devices and have large complaints, I want you to do something for me. I have an email link below. Send me a screenshot. You can block out all your personal information other than your name um, of the Indiegogo purchase and also some emails that you've sent to EV. Just block out all the necessary information. I don't want to have, have that. I just want to make sure that yes, you actually went ahead and bought it, but did not receive your EV. Once I have that, I am going to select one person. I'm going to give them this device. I'm not using it. I don't use it. And I think it's best to go to someone who's actually paid for this device instead of me. Um, so go ahead, send me again a screenshot of your um, Indiegogo purchase from EV, your email, just at least the last email that you basically stated and complained that, look, where's my device? 
and um, if there's any response from that kind of stuff and send it to me. I have an email link for you guys down in the description. Use that to enter. I'll keep this open till uh, January 1st, uh, midnight of uh, January 1st of 2019. And hopefully I can give this to somebody who actually pay for this device. So uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to be apologized for stuff like this, but I think it's just necessary because I think it makes sense uh, that, uh, you know, the, this should be taken care of. And Eve, Eve uh, if you guys are watching this video, please do the right thing. Um, make sure at least people get their devices or at least you give them their money back because they paid for it. Hopefully um, this helps someone. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, keep watching and uh, always enjoy entertainment.